Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again for another Kickstarter critique where I take a look at a different Kickstarter tabletop game every weekday at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and give my honest thoughts on how that Kickstarter project is being ran. And today, I'm very excited to be checking out the ninth most popular project in all the tabletop games, that is Ostia, Develop the Harbor of Ancient Rome, a strategic Moncala board game by uh, Tatsuka Chuo, inspired by Trajan for two to four players. So I will say... From the jump, I like what they're showing me here. Strate uh, so the Moncala style game, two to four players inspired by Trajan. You immediately mention that. I say, okay, this is going to be a gamery style game here. What's up, Sean? Glad to see you back again. And I'm already seeing some of the components here. Lots of different components. I'm seeing a little player reference thing here. This is nice. I'd love to see a price. And, better yet, I have kind of an idea of the box. I think this is a relatively smaller box. Or is that pandemic size? I don't know. Hopefully, I'll get a little bit more clear on that in a minute. But overall, I think the front image looks solid and inviting. I want to check it out. All right. Let's go into it. Do I want it? Can you do it? How much is it? Let's go. Welcome to the ancient Roman port city, Ostia. Lead a large fleet to explore the ocean. Wow. I love it. I immediately love it. We could just be going straight with theme. This could have just been a shot of the gorgeous ocean. It could have actually been a shot of Ostia and what it looked like. But no, it's actually a shot of the board and how I'm going to be moving from here to there in every which way. And that one's only for four players. And this is going to probably going to be where a tile is. And this looks really user-friendly once I understand what's going on. Mm. Good stuff. Oh, gorgeous components. Oh, there's text down there. Okay. <laughs> Go away, bar! Okay, come on. Here we go. Lead a large fleet to explore the ocean. There we go. Trade with various cities. Oof. Nice looking. Develop Ostia beautifully, showcasing components. What was that? What was that board? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Slow down. I almost feel like this is going too fast. This is not a small box, I don't think. That's like a whole separate area. Oh my gosh, and we're all in the ocean? This looks, oh, this looks so great. Oh. Let's select one of the six action spaces. Okay, action selection. Clear enough. Produce resources based on the number of ships. Simple. Arrange the ship one by one in clockwise directions. I think we're getting a little too deep into the rules here. Perform the actions where it stops. Maybe not. Uh, oh, you're moving? Build ships? Ooh. Build a trading board? Ooh. And you collect a thing? Oh, it goes there? And that makes the special ability better or something? Fulfill citizens' orders? Great. Oh, increase your own reputation and attain the highest honor. A separate track. Oh, increase your own reputation. There's so much they're throwing at me. I love it. Okay. Take back. I do not think they were going too deep into the weeds there. I think they were dangerously close to going too deep into the weeds. But I think what they did was they wet my whistle. And I think there was so much going on in this game that they wanted to try and get that across. That like, you're not just doing this. You're doing this and then that. You got to keep track of this. And there's this thing. And you can unlock this. And it seems to me like there's going to be numerous paths to victory potentially based on what I see. I thought that was a great video. Love it. Love that video. Do I want it? Yeah. Yeah, I want to know more, too. I both want it and I want to know more, which hopefully means we crush it in the story. Uh, so can you do it? Two created, eight backs, Japanese board game publisher, Meeple on board Vanguard. So we do have one person, hopefully. Wait, is that is that Jeremy? I think that's Jeremy's country, company. I hope so. I hope so. Because uh, I know he's doing big things. Aquaguard, become an owner of the... I think I did this one as well, maybe. So is this one out? That's what we're checking. Announcement of new Kickstarter project, about next project questionnaire, hate that. Uh, hi Rebecca, first of all, reflection on the AquaGuard pro sub supplement to the previous update. Why are we hiding these? The project is complete. Fantastic. That's all I wanted to know. People got their games. Hello, I'm moving in. I need to update my address. How do I ensure that? I still haven't received my game and I have completed the survey. Hi, I sent a message. Please check. And look at that. Ten days ago, they had this issue. Ten days ago, they respond to this issue. So when do we receive the game? 14 days, four days? I sent a message. Please check it. Sorry, please send me a message. We will respond to you individually. So it looks like it's pretty much one person doing the customer service here. But the bottom line is it looks like they are on point with it. Within a week. You know, it's not great. But for one person, it's I think that's totally reasonable. So can you do it? 
yes, you have done it before. This is the second time around. You got Jeremy on your side, potentially? I mean, come on. How can you lose? I'm loving this so far. Can you do it? I feel comfortable enough. Second project. So, how much is it? Hopefully, it'll be around the bush. We get straight to the price, and you hopefully tell me it in dollars and not yen. Both are good, but one of them, I imagine, is going to be uh, what most people... Wow! 100 to 120 minutes! Okay, first messed step I think I see of the Kickstarter is not mentioning that from the jump. Because when I hear of a Moncala style... Like, I like Moncala style games. Like... Because I want, I want to, I want to point this out. Because Five Tribes is another very popular Moncala style games, and a lot of people don't like Five Tribes. I, it, it used to be hot. It used to everybody loved it, but now, lot, it's calling, it's kind of fallen out of trend. So, but if you're a Moncala style fan, you're immediately intrigued by this. But if you're not a Moncala style fan, I think when you mention that it plays up to two hours, that intrigues those people. Like, what? I, the, whoa, that seems a bit more than just Moncala style. Um, so maybe mentioning somewhere in here that it plays. Uh, uh, two hours like that. That gets me excited right there. Looks like a euro. Euros tend to be longer. Yeah, I did, but I didn't. I didn't necessarily get that one hundred to two hour or one hundred minutes to two hour vibe from the beginning. Once again, because remember, I thought it was a smaller box. It was, um, and I don't think that's what you're getting here. So yeah, I think this is a much larger box. I think this is a. Is this maybe the same size as the Vitala Serta boxes, like those big premium style boxes, which would then set me up for a big premium style price. I don't know. Uh, about Ostia, it's a strategy board game, yada yada. Components, here we go. Hit me with the price. One main board. I'd like to know the dimensions of this board. That's one thing. The size is everything has been a little, it's still fuzzy in my mind. And I'd like that to be concrete by now. Is this a very large board or is this a smaller board and this is a smaller box? I still don't know. Same with the Ostia boards, the player track boards. Because if, if I'm judging based on the size of these player track boards right next to these, this looks like a smaller box, which then means it's a smaller game, which honestly makes me a uh, more interested in it the fact that it's going to take up less space for potentially being a large game gets me excited but i'm not 100 percent for sure 48 build oh those look nice those look very nice 56 tokens 12 ponte fancy tokens 35 and this is great they're zooming in on the components love it disc and cubes 16 trading port tiles and and i think they did a really good job here of spotlighting that there's different size cubes which you know i think it's little things like that destination so where's the price I, this is great and then there's an expansion so work in progress we don't know the size of this but there is going to be an expansion you are going to want it inevitably uh, i feel it's kind of odd that you just kind of sprang it on me here first you sprang it on me here you know i don't know I, I still i'm the price is the thing in my head i'm like what's the price what's the price then the upgrade pack okay so now we're we're kind of flying the cuckoo's nest here i don't like this i went from thinking there was just this game but now saying hold oh, there's an expansion but there's not just an expansion there is a deluxified potentially version of this game and those are all great things but i kind of wanted to be prepared for them a little bit because why do i want this why do i need this one destination tile what, what what this why do i need this how long and honestly what size is this box as well? Is this going to fit into the main box? Hopefully you tell me that as well. Is this going to fit into the main box? Because this does not look like this is much components. You know, eight tiles, one destination. Not to say it's a bad expansion. You know, every time there's an expansion, I'm excited. But I, the size of things is still just fuzzy for me. The upgrade pack. Upgrade all cardboard tiles to wooden components. Ooh, expansion is included. So this is going to be what you want. This is the whale right here. It's the this pledge level, not you, Merchant Expansion, and this. Because you're getting the deluxe expansion, you're getting the deluxe game. So hopefully we don't beat around the bush any longer we get to the price of that. Because that's what I think is going on here. Highlights. No, we're talking about highlights. Here we go. $63 plus shipping. I think that's a really solid price. Once again, I don't know the size of this box, which annoys me. But $63 is $3 more than MSRP. And I say to myself, eh, I don't feel like that's terrible. Okay, especially if this is a larger style box, or even if it's just a, a, a pandemic size box, because that might be a pandemic size. I don't know. So we got the Ostia plus the expansion set, $76. So here was what I mentioned, fits inside the main box. That's I think that would just be so nice to mention right there. Then we have the big one, $98 plus shipping, and this is the deluxe version of this game with the deluxe expansion, and honestly, I feel like this is a rock-solid price. I don't have an issue with this price. i kind of a little bit annoyed that it took so long to get to this price, because if you told me it's $63 for that game after seeing that it was a one, you know, it goes up to two hours, it just looks like a game that, that just, I gotta play. Like, after seeing all that, I want to play this game. This is actively on a list of games where if someone says they have this game, it's like, oh, I want to play that. Like, there's games like that. You know you got games like that. I got games like that. This is now on my list because it looks really intriguing. 
And I, I don't know what that is, but I want it. $98. I don't think that's unreasonable for a deluxe version of a game. Not to mention, if we're going to hit stretch goals, which I don't think we are, because you haven't alluded to them or mentioned them at all, which I think is a bit of a misstep, if that is in fact the case. Oh, there are stretch goals! Okay, there's stretch goals! Uh, okay. There's like a little... Okay. So there's... Where's the where's the asterisk? Where am I missing? I see asterisks, which generally means that there's some sort of information that has the asterisks on it, but I don't see where the asterisk actually is. These amounts are approximated from the yen conversion rate. Oh, you didn't even put the yen here. You just put the dollars. Okay, so that's what it is. Uh, these upgrade pack contains wooden tiles instead of the paper tiles used in the standard edition and expansion. Paper tiles? I, I think that... I think you mean cardboard. Um... Or is it are they paper? Because I'm just trying to envision what a paper tile would even be. I think it's just one of the words, like, they say it differently than we say it. I think that's all the difference is. But still, uh, stretch goal, Ostia, the thing, cool stuff, looks good. This wasn't what I was questioning. Now we just, so what is this? It's just, fo like, why would, how, is so here's the thing. I feel like this is just completely useless in this position. Like, these are pictures that, to be quite honest, I feel like I've already seen before. And... There's so much more useful information that could be here. The shipping, the stretch goals. I mean, they, those come to my mind. Useful information that I absolutely am going to need as to put, oh, hey, more pretty pictures of components. How to play? Oh, yes, please. 132. That's not a how to play. No, that's a, that's a brief overview. Please, bye-bye. Bye-bye. No, thank you. So this is a preview. Oh, this is the how to play. So this is the how to play. Setup, reward track. So this looks like official how to play. Oh, it is. But it's the preview and how to play. So here's the thing. I obviously, I would recommend the how to play before the preview. And, and you put English review. I would 100% change this to English how to play. If it is in fact, and this is only if it is in fact a comprehensive video where I can sit there for 17 minutes or 18 minutes and know exactly how to play the game. Because if that's the case, that immediately is a needle mover for me. Because I do, yeah, I mean, I don't want to read a rule booklet that's for 100 to 120 minute game. Do you? No, if there's a great how to play video, I'm going to click on that. You know, that's at least me personally. I got ADHD. What are you going to do? Uh, so then we got a Japanese review. We got a French review. So we have one of each language. Okay. Stretch goals. Okay, here we go. 100% unlocked. Uh, I'd like to know what price we unlocked this at, but that's just a nitpick. I always just think it's nice to know that. Linen finish cards. Great. So it's a 200% unlock. So that, I mean, that doesn't help me. What was the, what was the funding goal? Like, so at 30... One thousand dollars. So these are pretty big stretch goals. All right. So at three hundred percent of locks, so that's at forty-six. Custom shape first player token. Uh, so it's a it's a player token. Okay. Silk printed. So at four hundred percent. Yeah. Put me the numbers. There's a reason why it typically people don't do it in this fashion, and that's just because it's I don't. No one. Most people do not care about your project enough to just know what your funding goal is. So 400% of your funding goal means absolutely diddly squat to me. Uh, so this one will hit at like 90,000 it looks like. Uh, skill printed. The solo expansion. Oh, that's hot. So this, I, I, I'm not a big fan of this. This moves the needle about a thousand times more than all three of these combined. I think for most people. Now this one is going to be very hit or miss. I think it depends on if you play solo, but I think overall... And for the longevity of your game, you know, I'm already expecting... Because here's the thing. I thought this already was premium. I thought it was already... I don't know. I don't know. This is, I'm not a big fan of the stretch goal area, the way it's constructed. But once this hits, I think that's going to be a big one to hit. Double layered port boards. Oh my gosh. Once again, this is hot. This is fantastic. Custom shape reward tokens. I don't... Oh, so instead of... Uh, so... You keep putting the work in progress. I think maybe with something like this, just just what are you thinking about? Throw out some rough ideas. So instead of this blue cube, what are you thinking we might get? If you put one or two and say, you know, uh, vote, maybe we vote on it. Who the hell knows? You know, get me more engaged, more updates, more comments, that sort of thing. It's just a little bit more information here. I think would go a long way. Uh, score pad, cool. I mean, that's that seems that seems pretty important. Like, I mean, it's nice that you're putting it in here, and it, it definitely adds to the value of the game, but it's just like, that's not typically a stretch goal, so we say. Like, imagine it's like, hey, uh, it's just, I don't know, especially not when I'm when it's a premium game already. Like, you're giving me the premium game vibe. You gave me that. $63 MSRP, plus I get the expansion that upgrades everything. 
I don't know. Card sleeve bonus for each game. You get card sleeves. That's moving the needle for some people. Not for me, but that's your mods may vary kind of thing. All right. Shipping. Japan, 16. USA, 19. So once again, this goes back to the, the fuzziness of the shape of your box. $19. That's a, that's a pretty chuffy chunk of change, especially am I going to have to pay taxes on top of that? So shipping, um, I don't think it's a good area. I don't necessarily think it's a bad area because once again, if this is a Vitalis certified box, nineteen dollars, I don't bat an eye at that because that those boxes are freaking huge. I don't think it's that size box. I now think it's a ticket to ride size box. But if it's even smaller than a ticket to ride size box, then I hate the shipping area. And the bottom line is, I don't know if I hate the shipping area because I don't know the size of your box, and it's not a good shipping price. Period. I don't think like. It, like, there's no thing where I like $19, that seems like good shipping, which means it's either okay shipping or bad shipping in my mind, and I don't know because I don't have a size of the box, and that just annoys me. Uh, please refer to the list below. Slovakia, Hungary, Bulgaria thing. The project is EU-friendly shipping, so I don't think you'll get jacked by the VAT. Maybe, or no, EU-friendly doesn't actually mean, I don't know what it means. These amounts are approximated from the yen conversion. Awesome that you did that. These amounts are approximated from the yen conversion. Okay. Aqua Garden, Age. Oh, so you have other games as well. Oh, I thought you said it was a second game. There's a lot of other games in here. Okay. So the can you do it, I feel comfortable. Oh, and these are add-ons. Okay. Add-on. So you can add more games. Ostia, and here's the other thing. Like, I I think this could be so much cleaner if you just slap the numbers on here. Like, Ostia, $63. You know, you could... It, I get it. There's meeples here. What if you just put, like, a little thing inside the meeples that said, Bremen, whatever the price is. I just think it could be a little... It look, could look... I mean, they're night nitpicks. Just put just graphic design things that I think would be nice. Additional shipping cost list below. Wow, that's fantastic. A lot of people just leave you high and dry on the add-ons. You have no idea how much the shipping is going to be on add-ons. A lot of Kickstarters. I would honestly say, of the Kickstarters I look at it, I would say the majority of Kickstarters do that. So I do really like the fact that, that, that they're talking about the shipping there. Uh, creators, good stuff, thing, people, whatever, risks and challenges, price... Uh, what's the price? The price of the pledge is conveyed... Uh, yeah, so that that's my biggest thing here is I don't know the size of that box, and it really it really matters to me. You know, sixty four dollars for a pandemic size box. I say okay, it's a bit more than MSRP, but whatever. That's the world we live in. Um, but if it's a Vitale asserted box, I say that's a fantastic price. And if it's smaller than a pandemic price box, I say that's not a good price, and I don't know the price. So twenty two backers once again getting this. Nobody wants this pretty much. And I and honestly, I could I mean duh everybody's gonna want that expansion because you just want an expansion and the premium version so we got the ostia expansion set we got 34 backers so a grand total of 56 people want this game so a print run of 56 people who want the generic version do not want the premium version and then the premium version just dominating at 489 dollars or 489 of it okay and uh, so where I'm right now is i'm looking at 118 dollars for this and once again, on the price, how much is it? I don't know because I don't know the size of the box. Wait, is it in any of the videos? Let's see. Does it cut? No, that, that one was... Let's see what this is. Oh, wow. That, that is a Vitala certified box. No, 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 no. This... This in my mind, or no, is this is, or is he just zoomed in? I think that's a large box. Put your hands there. Yeah, look at his hand. I think that this is a Vitalis or size box. I assume the four player track boards are tarot size and the main board looks to be Monopoly size. Yes! And here, I think, is my biggest issue with this Kickstarter campaign is they are not leaning into the size of this. Now I say to myself, wow, $63, 60 or $64, that's a good price. Now, once you factor in the shipping, you know, $82, I say, okay, it's still a Vitalis sort of size, but that is a big-ass box. But then when we get the deluxe components and the expansion, which presumably, you didn't tell me, but I assume, I hope, I dream, that they all will fit into this box, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't, I think that that is my biggest issue here. And that, and honestly, I think that could be really easily remedied. Uh, what are the contents of the merchant expansion? What are the contents of the upgrade pack? Okay, I feel like you already mentioned this stuff. Um... It's kind of odd there. I'm more curious, what's the size of the box? What's the size of the board? Things like that. Updates. 300% and 400% stretch goal achieved. And we have no engagement. Oh, that's not good. 
Uh, the first half is an up English update. The second half is a Japanese update. And this project is written in Japanese. The principal message for Japanese backers, which is not... Blah, 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 blah. Uh, thanks for your support. We have achieved 304% stretch goals. The first player mark will be a custom shape, which will be the shape of a Trajan Burst. So here's what I'm talking about here. I, what's a Trajan Burst? What does that look like? If you know roughly what it's going to be, tell me. A Trajan Burst? Is that That's a Trajan Bust. What's a Trajan Burst? Oh, it is a Trajan Bust. I can't read good thing good thing google can read google knows better than i do oh my god i'm such an idiot sometimes okay that's awesome that's a cool as yes that's a cool as hell player eight and now i immediately am more excited about your stretch goal area just because instead of showing me a cube with an arrow going up you say this is what we're planning on and i say oh that seems pretty hot you know um like i feel like this just steal this and put that up there and then do, I don't know what you do over here, something different, but it's like, uh, you know what you do here? The, what is the expansion going to be? Is it cards? Is it cubes? What, what is it? Um, a 500% stretch goal add-on such as solo board and chips. In addition, eight player double boards will be unlocked. Those, so these are fantastic stretch goals now. These are stretch goals that get me excited. What is this? Please let me know of any requests. Uh, we'll try to answer them to the best of our ability. And no one asked anything at all. But people like the update, because let's be honest, that was a, that was a good update. Uh, but so you're making solid updates, but the engagement is just not here. Ask a question. I challenge you next time. Ask any question. Ask uh, what's your favorite Moncala style game, or, or, or what's your favorite medium weight game, or what what stretch goal would you like to see? You ask people what stretch goals they like to see. Let me tell you, they will tell you. <laughs> they will tell you, <laughs> and that will just get you higher on that kickstarter uh, popularity chart because this has everything i think it needs you lean into the size of the box you move the stretch goals a little bit higher make them a little bit more simple i think this is a this is a slam dunk of a project right here this looks like one of those projects that i foresee in a few years if everything goes smoothly and it is a great game like that's the biggest thing here but if it is you know the second edition of this just blowing up because it's got that hot buzz people like oh it's this two-hour moncala game it's so good this blows your brain away so many different ways like you know what i'm saying this could be hot um right now i think i just think it, it, lean into that size game looks very interesting we can't wait to play on the channel also we sent you a message and that's the other thing did we did we have a full gameplay video i know we had the how to play we had the preview and the how to play which for me is worth its weight in gold but i don't think we just had a straight up gameplay video no, none of these are gameplay videos. So not a fan of that in any way, shape, or form. Uh, but it is playable on Tabletop Simulator, English Rule Booklet. Yeah, so get yourself a gameplay video up there. Oh, look at that rule booklet. It looks so colorful and vibrant. That's the Japanese one. But yes, pictures. Oh, look at that. That setup in the back reference. Mm, looks so nice. Final grade on this one. Do I want it? Can you do it? How much is it? Let's go. Do I want it? Yes. From the video onward, I wanted this project. I wasn't sure when I saw the price and I saw the shipping, but then once I realized after looking very specifically at one specific video to see how large this box was and to confirm my suspicion that this is a massive box, I am now super excited about this game. It looks like a premium game. It looks like one of those games where if you miss out on it now, you might not be able to, to snatch it up so easy in the future. I think you need to lean into that. But do I want it? Yes. Can you do it? Yes. It's not just your second game. It's your second time using Kickstarter, but it's like your fourth or fifth game. You showed me that in the add-ons. Maybe you mentioned it a little bit early, but that's a minor nitpick. Still, can you do what I felt comfortable? And plus, considering it was just one person in the customer service, I thought they were doing a decent job. How much is it? Uh, price? What am I looking at? $118 for a Vitalis certain style game with an expansion and a premium thing. And it's just one of those games that, like, I get the impression that I, if I don't like this game, I could probably turn around and flip it for a good chunk of whatever I did, which I know for a lot of Kickstarter people actually matters. I think it's an important thing. Um, so how much is it? I think it's a good price. So overall, I'm going to give this one an A minus. I liked what you did with the add-ons. Let me know the prices on the add-ons. I just think it needs to lean into a couple more of its positive qualities, that two-hour Moncala style game. Let me know that right from the jump, and I'm going to be like, what? I'm intrigued. Um, but overall, Ostia, Develop the Harbinger of Ancient Rome. This looks like a really stinking cool game. I'm giving it an A-. But what is your grade? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, if you enjoyed this content, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below as I'm trying to reach 10,000 subscribers to celebrate my 10-year anniversary of making YouTube content. Bye-bye.